showing up tonight and watching this. I'm just blown away. I, um, I had seen a rough cut quite a while ago, but I've never seen, I had never seen uh, the complete film. And um, I, for one, I, I sincerely appreciate, Steve, that you would put such effort into um, trying to set the record straight on someone's record, my team's record. We had worked so hard in the state of Alaska for America so that our state would be a contributor to the rest of the U.S. instead of a taker from the U.S. because we have the energy up there that we can be producing, we can be supplying to allow all of us energy independence, energy security. We worked so hard on that. We worked so hard on ethics reform. We worked hard on cutting budgets, on vetoing the largest amounts of money in our state's history, all those things that the lamestream media completely ignores and wants to dismiss. And yet that set a foundation for what our administration was going to be all about. So it's, it's very humbling to know that somebody would put such effort into documenting what our team was able to accomplish. And it was a pretty simple agenda. It was all about smaller, smarter government, putting the faith and the power back into the people of our state. And of course, that needs to uh, be transitioned into our nation, where the people of this country are empowered again, and individual rights and, and freedoms and responsibilities are once again embraced by Americans. And that will bring us back to the exceptional place that America should be. But humbling to know that someone has put such effort into documenting my team's efforts but even more than that, at the same time as acknowledging what this has documented for me personally, is just the, the realization that it's not about me, the movie's not about me, it's about America's values, it's about work ethic that you, here in Iowa, you all embrace. That work ethic. a people's desire to be involved in the greatest government in our world's history, wanting to be involved for the right reasons. Here in America, because we are exceptional, our founding documents, our charters of liberty, created a blueprint that would allow us towards more perfect of a union if we would just follow this blueprint. So people wanting to be involved in a democratic process within our republic, all of you wanting to be involved for the right reasons. That what, that's what this film illustrates. Got into politics for the right reasons 20 years ago. Stayed in politics. Put up with what the media does to all of us for the right reasons. And it's to protect our constitution. And it's to protect the opportunities that we have here in America that have made us so exceptional and can continue to allow us to be an exceptional nation. And we don't need to transform America into anything else. We need to restore all the good. So what is so impressive to me about this film is how that is illustrated. Not Sarah Palin, not even my record but the values that are embraced, held by so many good, patriotic, hardworking Americans who understand freedom, who understand how important it is to fight for freedom, for the opportunities that God has given us here. We're not gonna squander it. We're not gonna blow it. We're gonna do, man, we're gonna go down and fight. We don't have to do it. doing something. 
something about it. What he has provided America, we have the natural resources, we have the farmlands, we have the oil, we have the natural gas and the coal. We have the resources to be self-sufficient. We don't have to rely on, on Saudi Arabia. developing our natural resources and then creating jobs. Our government needs to back off, let the private sector, our job creators, grow more jobs by keeping more of what we earn so that we can prioritize and reinvest according to our own priorities. What God has provided us with natural resources, with ingenuity, with land mass here in America, with our founding documents, that are based on Judeo-Christian beliefs, based on time-tested truths. It's really quite a simple solution if you consider what the problems are facing America, if we would just get back to that responsible development of natural resources, of letting our job creators do what they do best, and of getting back to those Judeo-Christian principles that our founding documents were crafted upon. Those three relatively simple things to do will get America back on the right course. <laughs> it's an honor to get to be with you all today, for Todd and for me and for my friends to get to be with you all today in a place that gets it. You guys understand that work ethic, that patriotism, those wonderful things about America that maybe some others in the land, certainly in our national government, our federal government, need to understand a bit more of. You can help them share that message. I, hopefully this film will help share that message. Yeah. Not about me, but about the values of America that make us exceptional. And if we continue to embrace those values and live them out, America forever being the light, the beacon of hope for other countries looking to see what it is that they can emulate to ultimately create a more prosperous, healthy, and peaceful world. America can be that light again. An exceptional, exceptional place. And it's people like you who can do it. So thank you so much for being here tonight. God bless you.